Camera bags, which is the best one? Today, Graham and I are talking about how we carry our gear. So Graham, today you've brought some stuff over and you want to I talk have. about it. What have you got for us? Well, I'll, I'll start off by saying I need a bit of advice from you because uh, you're the kind of guy who travels a lot, like, like I said before, Indiana Jones with a camera. Uh, so you're living out of a backpack. You've got all your gear in a backpack yeah. and, and some, some smaller bags and stuff like that. That's kind of a new thing for me. I haven't had to do that a lot. I haven't uh, used backpacks a lot. So I do have my this backpack kit that I put together okay. for documentary stuff. All right. And maybe you can give me a bit of advice and we'll maybe compare uh, you know, what you like in a bag what I like in a bag. Uh, so maybe I'll just, just okay. grab the thing. Yeah, so uh, if you guys are hearing lawnmowers, we're doing this at home and you know, this, is, this isn't this is a professional corporate shoot. <laughs> this is, Sometimes this, lawnmowers happen. This, lawnmowers happen, you gotta cut your grass. Folks, cut your grass and exactly. keep Especially the world after green. green. <laughs> okay, so you've got the Cinebags and I have to admit, I was pretty excited to see you bring the Cinebag over. I've never used one, but I've seen them online and over the years I've thought numerous times, you know what, the next, next one I get is gonna be a Cinebag because I think they look cool. There is one major reason that's kept me from buying them, which I'll tell you a little bit later, but I want to hear what your opinion of this bag is. Well, they sure do look cool. Uh, I'm not a fan of this bag. Really? And there's a couple of reasons why. Okay. Uh, number one, the pockets with this thing don't make any sense to me at all. Okay. Um, there's a, uh, I'll just have to sort of spin it top around. There's a large there. top pocket, which I have yeah. some, I have my, uh, my Canon batteries in here, speed boosters in there. Okay. That's okay. maybe about the most effective pocket in this whole thing. Okay. There's this weird little um, pocket here so on the like front. A cell phone, maybe. Or... Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, there's a, a pocket here that okay. I put memory cards in normally. That yeah. sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And then there's these these weird side pockets. So yeah. I've got a filter case uh, that doesn't quite fit in there and okay. doesn't quite fit anywhere else either. Then I got this super long pocket in so here. So a long pocket like that, like it seems like it's too, like you couldn't put, I mean, you wouldn't want to put a lens in a, in a delicate place no, like that. No, it's not anyway, padded, but... first of all, and and it doesn't open very wide. So like I even find like getting my hand down in there. Let's see yeah, what we've what got you put, in here. Maybe it's for, for oh. your, your, whoa. Okay. You got a time code box in there. Oh, there Betso. you go. One of my, so like that fits in there, but, um, yeah. Like, where do I put my snacks? Where yeah. do I put my water bottle? Well, maybe that's for your mittens. That you could know, be. You're... And the same sort of problem on this side, right? Yeah. Like, here's my little yeah, 75 mil yeah. hi-hat. Doesn't quite fit in there. It's not deep enough. It really feels to me like this bag yeah. is uh, two inches too small in every dimension. And yet it's still a fairly big backpack. So right. now I wonder if these pockets, if it would be better if they had just given that room to the interior, the overall yeah. interior of the bag. Yeah, probably, and and like I'm I'm often a little confused about stuff like this, That's, right? Like, what do I stick in here? I could stick my tripod in there well, if I if I, I have mean, to. Well, the tripod that you're going to carry is not going to fit anywhere on that back. Not really, right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what is? That's interesting. Right? And then we have this sort of like, I feel like this is like a 2010s thing here. This is like a 15 inch laptop okay. uh, compartment and me I'm not bringing a laptop with that's me. A, that's a lot way. of room for a laptop in there yeah. too right usually you just want that little sleeve that tucks it in there so it doesn't bounce around. I have a map box. Okay in map there oh, it's your map box that's yeah. good. Just a little clip on one. Right? Yeah. Right okay. so it's you know uh, that's the outside yeah. of it and it's not uh, it's not ideal to me. Okay I'm now what about the interior? The interior suffers from the exact same problem. If really? I turn it around, do 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 do, okay. here's how you access it. I'm gonna have to do it on a little bit of an angle. Yeah. Here's a C70. Whoa, and it's a C70, so that's good. Yeah, your well, rain, it is kind of good. A... Don't want to put a very big lens on it. No. Uh, okay. I've got an 11 to 16 Tokina in here. Okay. I've got a 50 mil in here, and then I've got two compartments, or two um, For cables zipper compartments. And so we've got, you know. A, a G2 receiver and that okay, sort of thing in there. Yeah. And you know, again, it just barely fits. Yeah. And I need one more lens in here. Like where's my mm -hmm. telephoto gonna go? Yeah, your 70 to 200, you, yeah. that won't fit in there at all. No, I mean, we'll get to that in a minute. We'll, okay. You know, l lenses are a, a thing with this camera. Mm -hmm. So let's compare to yours. Uh, you've got a, right. an old Cata bag, which so, I love yeah. Cata. This is, uh, so I bought this back, I think in 2008. This is Cata, which I think Manfrotto owns them now. Uh, Cata is a nice, uh, they were a nice Israeli company. I bought this bag, I think I paid 600 bucks for this bag mm -hmm. back in 2008. Yep. And this bag, uh, this bag, if you look at it, still looks in great condition. And I've had this bag into deep into Siberia and Arctic Russia. It's been to, oh, protein bar. I don't know how old that is. 
<laughs> but it fits. Um, it fits. There's somewhere um, for it. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? This bag has been with me. I've taken it all through the Middle East, Pakistan, Afghanistan, mm -hmm. Iraq, everywhere. Uh, and I, well, when I was doing a fishing show, I had this bag in some of the worst conditions where we we're outdoors being in pouring rain. And I'd throw, when I could, throw the, the cover on it. But even then, a lot of times, if I couldn't, you know, it would get soaked and it still kept everything dry inside without the, the rain cover. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I love this pocket at the top. Yes. Um, I find, especially when you're, you're on an airplane, and I would bring this as my carry-on, and for the most part, I'd get it to fit uh, without people complaining too much. I would have this thing loaded up sometimes over 50 pounds oh, worth of gear. Nice. And uh, I, you know, I love this back. It looks kind of... Uh, and so which camera would you use this with? So with, I've, with used this, I've used this with numerous cameras. So I'll tell you the largest camera that I've taken in this, uh, I had the Panasonic, not the Panasonic, sorry. I had the, the JVC, uh, was it the, the 700? It was the full shoulder oh, yeah, mount yeah, broadcast yeah, style yeah, camera. Yeah. I would fit that in here. Really? Right? Yeah. As yeah, assem assembled. Yeah. Assembled. And so how do you access the internal um, so, compartment? At the so, front or the back? So it's in the front. Yeah. Um, and actually, I I used to bring my my uh, my Look FS. I used to have my FS7. Yeah. So the FS7, what I'd do is I'd take the lens break off. Down. Uh, but I wouldn't totally break it down. But uh, but my the big Panasonic broadcast or sorry the big JVC broadcast style shoulder mounted yeah. camera I could put that in here completely assembled, and then take it right out of the bag and work with it. I love it. But I've used it with uh, with the the Sony um, PM. Was it the PMW 200? Mm -hmm. uh, I've used I've used this for the FS7. Mm -hmm. Now I will take my A7. So I'll have the A7S3, the A7R3, and the A7R2, and some lenses and all so that stuff. So three cameras in there. Easily. Yep. Both microphones and extra. You know, and you've got these outside. So pockets. you want a Cinebags now? <laughs> well, I don't know. And you know what? I, I don't think, think this is great. I don't think they even make this anymore, no, I don't though. Think they do. Right? Like this is, uh, you know, this is really this has been put through everything, and it still is in great, great shape, great well, condition. Well, and uh, and on that great shape thing. So I've had this this bag for a while, yeah. right? Um, but I haven't used it very much. Oh, it's already. But tearing. look, it's already yeah. starting to tear up here. Yeah. So it's going to need to be replaced anyway. Wow. It's kind of too bad. Yeah. It's kind of too bad. I wonder. Let's hold them up side by side. And, yeah, in terms of size, they I are. Think they're here's, this is a bit bigger, but slight, it's not, slightly bigger. But uh, for the additional, like the expandable pockets are nice. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. All, all of that's. I like yeah. that. So sorry, Cinebags. Yeah. I like your other stuff. I, they, their production, um, their production bag is great. Yeah. Uh, the the rectangular one. I use. I have two of those, and I use them all the time. Now I have to admit, I don't that. use this bag all that often anymore. The reason is, is because I could put so much stuff in it. I actually had some back problems from years of on the shoulder shooting. And the last time I seriously took this bag as my main camera bag overseas, I was getting on a flight and I was standing in line and my back went out. Oh. You're not crazy about the cine bag. No. Uh, I'll show you two other bags that I'm using. Okay. Uh, I, for, for my local drivable shoots, yeah. I love this Tenba yeah. bag. This is, I can put my FS7. Yeah, gate mouth style. Yep, yeah, yeah, the doctor bag or yeah. whatever you call it. Yep. I can put my uh, my FS7 or F FX9 now completely assembled, mm -hmm. fully rigged, kitted out, drop it in the bag. Pull I've got room shoot. for lenses, pull it out and shoot. Although I am regretting, um, they have a version of this bag with wheels. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get it. You should have. Because yeah, it was like an totally. extra $200 or something like that. And I'm really wishing. Tenma, is there any way I can add wheels onto this now, please? Maybe I'll sell it and get add, the... Uh, add wheels to anything. Yeah. Right. Um, get an axle. Yeah. Um, the Sackler makes a, bag, a, a doctor bag like that as well. Yeah, I, yeah. I've been looking at Sackler. And actually, I've seen Shape actually has some interesting oh, okay. bags. Yeah, I bought a Shape bag, and it's yeah. pretty good. It, it, it's not effective for cameras. I use yeah. it as a ditty bag now. Okay. And, and maybe one day we'll do a video on... Yeah. On the random things that are in your ditty bag. Yeah, I got a lot of exactly. In my ditty bag. Yep. This now. And this when is I, what goes on the plane. This is what goes on the plane. This is my main camera bag. This is the Think Tank, mm -hmm. and it's uh, it's made for airports. It's made for planes. Yeah. And I actually put, I put the FX9 disassembled, mm -hmm. but I put the FX9 in here. I will have my A7. Uh, I'll have a lot of times. I'll have two A7 cameras in here. Sometimes I'll actually have my my drone. Yep. And yep. so I'll have wow. FX9. A7S3, A7R3 drone, 
and uh, maybe even two or three lenses. But this will be well over 50 pounds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But the and you don't have to wear it on your back. And I don't have to wear it on my back. Although, so it is, you know, I it's can, wheels. it's yeah. got wheels, but it does actually also have backpack straps. Does it really? So if I needed to, and I had to do this a few times, where we get to where we need to go and we need to hike in a little yeah, bit and yeah. I can't roll it to, you know, we're hiking over terrain and so I've thrown this on as a backpack. It's not a comfortable backpack. No, it would be, but, but, but it, you know, if you need to do it, you need to do it. Yeah, and it fits in overhead compartments, although yeah. I do find that I have to fight with airlines, uh, especially if I'm on one of those smaller commuter planes because it does not fit in the overhead compartment. You can get it under the seat and they will argue with you, uh, but you, uh, as many of you who travel know, you can't bring batteries, uh, you can't check them mm -hmm. into, your, into your checked luggage. They have to come on the plane mm -hmm. and I have to tell them, listen, I've got $30,000 worth of camera gear that can't go in the belly of the plane. Right. And so I've had to fight with them, but I haven't been kicked off yet. But I do have to sometimes be very insistent and and. There, I think there's a whole art form to flying with gear, yes. right? Yeah. Like, and, mm -hmm. Maybe art form is overstating it a little bit, but well, <laughs> but uh, you know, like there's it, it is a psychology skill. involved. It's there's good skill. packing involved. It's yeah. a skill, totally, yeah. totally. It's a skill, mm -hmm. and and uh, you know, I think dealing that's a stressful environment. Whenever you come up with all of your stuff, you think you've packed yeah. it properly, yeah, and you start getting uh, a bunch of people pushing back. Yes, you know, at the airline. Yeah, there's <laughs> the, the the ability to get beyond that mm -hmm. without being a jerk about it. Yeah, you know, because you catch more flies with honey than yes. you do with vinegar. And I'll tell you one of the biggest reasons, maybe the only reason that I have not bought a Cinebag until today, when you showed me how you don't like it, but the reason I've not bought the Cinebag before is because it says Cinebag on it. Because when you're carrying that, people know that you are carrying camera equipment. And a lot of times I'm going into countries where maybe I don't have a carnet. Right. Maybe I need to go low profile and I don't want customs to, uh, to think of me as some sort of a professional. Because a lot of times I'm, the, I'm, I'm doing my own projects, uh, I'm carrying my own gear, uh, and you know I kind of fall between the cracks. I'm not really... Uh, you don't want to make yourself a target. I, you don't want to yeah. be a target for both theft and you don't want uh, the, the customs people looking at you saying, hey, what are you doing? Yeah. Do you have a carnet for that? Do you, we're gonna charge yeah, you. Because they could send you home. They could say, hire yes. local. Yeah. No, no, no foreigners coming in here to shoot. Yeah. Period. So I love the look of the Cinebags. Apparently they're not that great. And also it's a big, big target that says, I've got camera gear. Come, come rob me. Some people might like the Cinebags backpack. Uh, I just don't think it's that effective for me. Yeah. So anyway, um, that, that's my feeling about that. Okay. Um, I would like to try out, I've been researching the F-Stop backpacks. Yeah, I've heard about them, but I've not really seen them. So I I'm, would like I'm, to try one of yeah. those. Uh, apparently they have a 45 day uh, trial period. Yeah. So okay. I may do that at some point. Yeah, if you do, and maybe we could both get two different kinds and we could try backpack them Backpack video version two. Yes, that's yeah. right. If that's something you'd like, comment below, hit like, send us a message, DM us, whatever that is. Exactly. But let us know if you guys are interested in more backpacks and if you'd like to see our thoughts on the F-Stop bags.